Welcome back to my channel, Learn to Teach. In the previous video, we have discussed about respiration in animals. And if you remember, I've asked you a question at the end of the video. Do the plants also respire like the other living organisms? The answer to this question is yes. Just like all other living organisms, plants to respire. This means that the plants also need oxygen to survive like us. And they respire through the tiny pores on the surface of their leaves called stomata. Oxygen enters the plant while carbon dioxide leaves the plant through these pores. Now in plants, almost every part breathe. Oxygen obtained from the atmosphere diffuses in not just through the stomata present in the leaves but also through the lenticels present in the old stems and the general surface of the roots. As you know during the end of the photosynthesis process glucose is produced and that glucose reaches to all the different parts of the plant through the phloem vessels. Now a question arises over here. The glucose which reaches to all the different parts of the plant, what it does over there? How exactly the plant cells utilize the glucose? Now since in the video of respiration in animals, we have learned that the food molecule glucose, it is broken down in each and every cell of the body to release energy. And so just similar to the other living organisms, Plants also need a constant supply of energy for all the different processes that go on inside the cells of the plant body. Energy, it is required for the growth of the plant. It is required for the root cells to penetrate the soil and absorb water and minerals from it. And of course, energy is required to produce flowers, fruits and seeds. So how the plants get energy from glucose? Just by undergoing the process of respiration. So respiration, also known as cellular respiration, is the process by which the plant cells utilize oxygen to break down the food molecules glucose and to get the chemical energy for various cell functions. Respiration takes place inside the mitochondria of each cell and the energy released, it is then captured in the molecules of adenosine triphosphate or ATP. And any activity inside the cell is carried out by the release of energy by these ATP molecules. You must be thinking that the plants get their energy directly from the sun. So why do they need extra energy by breaking down the glucose molecules? So there's a specific reason for it. The sunlight which is being trapped by the chlorophyll pigment present in the chloroplast of the leaf cells, they provide energy specifically for the process of photosynthesis. And the energy from the sunlight, it causes a chemical reaction that breaks down the molecules of carbon dioxide and water to produce glucose and oxygen. But the energy which the plants get after undergoing the process of cellular respiration that is specifically used for the growth of the plant, its development and reproduction. So the glucose molecules which are synthesized through photosynthesis, it acts as a basic component or basic fuel for cellular respiration. Just like animals, do plants also have the two types of respiration process? Yes. Two types of respiration process occurs in plants as well. The first one is aerobic, whereas the second one is anaerobic. As we have learned in the previous video, aerobic respiration is the respiration that utilizes oxygen, whereas anaerobic respiration does not utilize oxygen. Let us first discuss about aerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration, it is a process or a set of reactions that takes place in the mitochondria of each and every cell in the presence of oxygen. Aerobic respiration, it is referred to as a biological process 
that utilizes oxygen to completely break down food that is glucose and liberate energy so usually all the cells throughout their life they perform aerobic respiration where the glucose it is completely oxidized into carbon dioxide water and energy and the excess of energy it gets stored in the cell in the form of adenosine triphosphate or simply the atp atp it is also known as an energy currency for a cell hence the purpose of atp is to carry the energy in a cell whenever required so without atp a cell will die and that's the reason why the plants they undergo aerobic respiration to make sure that their cells are full of energy so here's the equation for aerobic respiration as you can see clearly over here the glucose that is say 6 h12o6 when it gets combined with six molecules of oxygen that leads to the production of six molecules of carbon dioxide plus six molecules of water plus 38 atp molecules that is more energy is released next is anaerobic respiration it is the opposite of aerobic respiration means the respiration which takes place without oxygen it is called anaerobic respiration now since here there isn't any involvement of oxygen so will the cells generate energy or not so this can be understood by learning a proper definition of anaerobic respiration so anaerobic respiration it is a series of reactions which result in the release of relatively small amount of energy in the cells by the breakdown of food glucose without the utilization of oxygen this means here the cells will generate energy for sure but in a very less quantity now you must be thinking that when the oxygen gas is released by the plants and trees itself during the process of photosynthesis so how come the oxygen supply to the plants run out why the plants have to undergo anaerobic respiration so this may happen when the soil gets waterlogged because too much water fills up the air spaces present in the soil by replacing the air in it and the lack of oxygen can lead to the death of the plants as i have mentioned at the start of the video each and every part of the plant respire so though oxygen is entering the leaf cells via stomata and maybe aerobic respiration is taking place there but the root cells aren't able to take in oxygen because of much water filling up the air spaces hence in such cases energy has to be obtained via anaerobic respiration only hence in case of anaerobic respiration food molecules are partially broken down leading to the production of ethanol along with carbon dioxide and less energy is released that is just two atp molecules along with plants yeast cells also perform the process of anaerobic respiration which leads to the production of alcohol by incomplete breakdown of sugar it is for this reason that yeast is used in the production of wine and beer and the anaerobic conversion of sugar to carbon dioxide and alcohol by yeast it is called fermentation with this i would like to end my today's video hope that you all have understood the concept very well please don't forget to share your views about the video and please support me by subscribing to my channel learn to teach